him, but looks like we're not doing that. It looks like we're doing the Paul Tanner first, so. Reasonable. Let's see how this goes down. Yeah, Gohan Tanner's ability with the shield, so if you want to challenge Ganon with the moves, you have a plethora to do so. Plus, I'm not going to lie, once you hit your opponent with Nair and you hit him with three times, man, it just take 40%. Yeah, I mean, oh, Ganon really? has Nair some really Nair. wide arching hitboxes, so it <laughs> makes it so easy for him to really tack on that damage. But what I, what I tell you, man, almost 40% right there with just three names. Yeah, I think we just got to get out of our like out of our minds that Ganon's a bad character. He's back into his melee form almost, how he's uh, not the greatest, but he's still like a threat if you don't yeah. know what you're doing against a character. I like how they they treat Ganon in this game, for sure. I, I'll admit it, he is a little more... Like, Falcon Ditto's died, but now we have Doria Ditto's, and that's way more hype. The Falcon Ditto became a Ganon Ditto. Alright, back air? No, not quite. He dark shows the Earth is out. I think he might be able to make it back as long as he doesn't Ooh, get edge guarded, but yeah, there it is. Oh no, and he went a little bit too overzealous for that one. Alrighty, here we go, though. Nice attack, nice. Oh, he tried to follow up immediately afterwards, but I've got a watch for Ganon there. It's a little bit disjointed, and it's got a back hitbox as well, so you gotta be careful with it. Nice, he's the cross up, raises the neutral air, and he even puts him back at the corner here. This is those projectiles. Doing what he does best is keeping Ganon at bay. Just trying to avoid close combat. He tries to find something. Oh! Good. I, was gonna, I was like, jump steady, don't roll. You might still be in the up tilt range. Yeah, I, th I think he was bagging on him holding shield, and just by the time he realized that he might have been dead. Yeah. Back air, nice. Explosive flame, looking to capitalize with an up air. Great opportunity, and he sees the forward air, putting Ganon more off the stage. Mm -hmm. I think in general, it looks like Paul Tennant just does a good job of covering Ganon's like few recovery options that he has, just like that. Yep. And that's it. Wow, just, <laughs> just throw out auto reticle, and that trades out, and he can't make it back from that. It was no good momentum. Too. Yeah, it was good too because of where Bahamut was. Jump City wanted to overcome it or something. Like that. Oh, he, I feel like he tried to cancel it where he was able to grab the legend and go back up again, but it might have been with the angle that he was at. Mm -hmm. I think he probably hit the like the ceiling at the bottom of Pokemon yeah. City. That's probably what happened. But already, st starting off with 41%, and yeah, Politena doesn't really have to commit in this kind of matchup, just sort of keep throwing out those projectiles, and then all of a sudden, when you have that opportunity, you can use those in invulnerabilities and intangibilities to really get things going. You can, like, uh, I'll tell you a little bit. Yeah. Alright, no jump. Yeah, this is a really tough spot for Ganon to be in. He's actually able to make it back, though. I try to tell people, if Jump City's one of those, he's probably like, like the East Coast, he got like five hours. He just got separated from home. And he was like, you know what? I like it down here in SoCal. It's actually four seasons. Might as well live out here. I mean, East Coast was also landing with DSS's. So yeah. Oh, wow, the Doria comes in. Not quite going to be able to get anything else, oh, though. But they all the smash at the ledge. Yeah. All of a sudden, very even game. Back here comes in. Lord Bahamut, he can still do this. He can still make this happen. All he needs is yes. one good read. He doesn't find it, but can't punish the oh. up smash, and there it is! And it all came down to the fact that uh, with Palutena, you have a lot of arrows you're going to be going for. He might have been trying to go for a neutral air or a cross of back air. And at that point, all he had to do was just respect the fact that, okay, fine. You want to go for aerials with Palutena because that's one of our game plans? I have a really great end here. Remember, folks, if your opponent's at the ledge, they are either trying to roll into you or jump around you. Yep. There's not much else they can do. They can't run through you. So that is, uh, yeah, that's that's something, man. All right. Uh, Lord Muhammad takes game one after a very uh, solid lead from Jump City all throughout. Man, this, could be a, this, could, this could be a Ganon Mane's day. Aside from watching Rickles, like, to really want to turn it yeah, I mean, again, it's already won in local, so I mean, that, that, that bucket list is already gone. <laughs> yeah. Nice, good, good day out of shield, and immediately jumps to respect it. And spent the other side up air. Can he get the platform extension? And he's able to do so. Yeah, I think Lord Bahamut wasn't quite expecting him to actually commit that high, so that was just a free up air for Jump City to work things out. All right, cutscene where you take 40 damage, already completed, onto the next part of the story mode. <laughs> oh my god, the, the whip grabs from both of these players. Just not quite inside the range. And yep, the neutral layer is a very good move. If I do say so myself. Empty hop, nice. Trying to set up for the backup, but Bahamut immediately goes in with that side B. Mm -hmm. You can't tech that uh, aerial side B onto the ground, but uh, looked like he couldn't quite find the read on the tech chase. And got another opportunity though. Finds him, gets that down smash, covers both sides of him too. Very smart. Nice, goes for the up smash, and sees the fact that Jump City has gotten for neutral get up at least two times last game and this game as well. 
making sure he has that punish on deck. Great, trying to read jump settings out of shield option with a neutral air. Usually Paladin would be going for a uh, Nair out of shield, so trying to go for a neutral air want to catch that. Mm -hmm. that throw, throw, Rar Bear. Nope, not going to connect here, but jump steady. He sees the low play and he really raced that forward air. Mm -hmm. Still able to make it back though, and the get up attack, that's a really wide range actually. So he's getting able to make it back. Oh, the dash dances and the fear <laughs> gets that full hop read and gets that up air, just sweeps around. He's able to oh. seal that stock. Every time jumpsy has been trying to go for that raw bear, he just a little bit of a range shot against the Hanukkah. So still good to put it out because it will it does connect at a certain percent, but this one's a little bit too high. Yep. Already 49% already. No tech this time. Oh, he tried to chase him down, but uh Jump City's oh. been doing a good job of mixing up his tech opportunities as well, so. Back air, nice, got that intangibility, put him off the stage, down tilt to try to catch the two frame, and he's giving himself that little bit of space on the ledge to find a whiff punish here. Especially with back air, you do have intangibility like I mentioned earlier. Great use of the tomahawk grab. Rar bear, like I said, will connect this time at that little bit lower percent that he tried last time. Bear, yeah. there it is. Not much he could have done there. He could have gone for the high recovery, but uh, it's probably too little, too late. Let's we'll move on to the next game, and we'll see how it goes down. Alrighty. So I mentioned earlier how Jump City might have been trying to teleport cancel. You can do it when you get on certain points on the stage. Even if there is like a bottom part of the stage or just a ledge, you can't teleport cancel. It's just really, really hard. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it also could have been like, yo, my mind's got pineapple. I think it was more likely he probably got pineapple. I'm gonna see. Alrighty. Battlefield, I like this pick from uh, Lord Bahamut. Even if he's on the platform, those sweeping hitboxes with up air, with neutral air, they can do a lot <laughs> for this character. And there's a small space too, so he doesn't have to spend half the time chasing down Politana. Yeah, he can up smash, forward smash, and they'll reach on the platforms. One of those things he's able to do as well, especially for punishes. Sometimes, like you mentioned earlier, when you're around the corner, you might try to roll or even go for an aerial or just jump in general. And if you can catch your opponent with that platform, Really good. Yeah. Oh, the tech chase read, though, with that up smash on the platform. Very smart stuff. How does he get back from the ledge? Oh, the wave land. Tries to catch him pressing a button. Not quite going to be able to find it, though. Down throw into up air. Okay. Good, good, of, uh, good of jump setting not to die to that. All right, he's still got his jump. And the high recovery that time. He was ready for it. The down smash? Is that going to do it? Oh my oh, god, yep. it did. Alrighty, Lord Bahamut all of a sudden is back into it. Oh, he got clipped by the very end of the actual explosive flame that kind of set him back. Yeah, that's tragic actually. Alrighty, but here we go. The Nair comes in. Potentially a big combo can start right now. <gasps> yeah, I, I see it. I mean, if you would have literally done roll get up forward, that would be the most horrible mistake you could make. Yeah. Just neutral get up. You're, you're fine. Yeah, the, the risk reward was definitely there, but he's going to lose his stock for it. But 48% already tacked on. I mean, that's 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 big for Ganon already, especially against a character like Palutena, where it's hard to catch her. And it's really easy for her to put on percent right back at you. Mm -hmm. Down throw, Lord Bear, yet again, great opportunity. And the reason why you want to go for that, like I mentioned earlier, even if percent doesn't connect, sometimes Ganon has a little bit of window to actually punish you and go for up air. Usually one of those moves you might like to go for, or Lucha Air. Bahamut tells you that sometimes you can go for that at certain points, especially with Valtana. So going for Bear and with intangibility is a great option. Oh, there's a choke. Down smash read, but not going to be anywhere in Jump City's range. Oh, lands with the fair, though. Keeps up the hope here. Lord Bahamut just needs one good hit, and he can potentially close out the stock. The double jump is gone. Watch the landing jump steady and watch the get up here. Good opportunity to let go of the ledge and reset yourself. That is tragic. He should have had that up smash. I, yeah. I'm just going to say that right now. That was like like Paulo Te Paul was there. That should have been it. But you know what? Jump steady is going to clear out of there scot free and take the stock for it, too. He's been having such a good week lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Won the Fat Arcadian, did really well in MSM. Out here in Had, possibly moving himself to winners finals. He's got a two stock lead against Muhammad. Man, if he just landed that up smash, this would have been a very different game. I, I swear. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very and he, much. Like I mentioned earlier, right? You gotta watch that up air. Yeah, that's a moment in time to do it. Oh, he's gotta find it. Oh, but he just caught him in the air. What's the next option? Goes for the up air. Continuing on that pressure, he gets a shield poke afterwards, too, I think. 
Oh, oh no, the dive kick. I would have respected if he did it more towards the ledge to could grab it, but unfortunately he was just right there on the stage. If the Doom City just have that range, he was going to take it. Yep, that is tragic, that up smash should have done it, but not quite.